One of the easiest ways to increase your sales using Facebook ads is by customizing your creatives by placement. And I've got this question from one of my friends who asked me how to customize his creatives by placement. So what I was thinking of is actually to create a quick video on this topic. First of all, we have to understand that Facebook owns multiple and multiple channels with its placements. For example, within Facebook we have feeds, we have stories, we have a right column, also we have Facebook video feed. So we have multiple and multiple placements and each one requires their format. Meaning is that when you are using automatic placements and you're showing your ads to the entire Facebook ecosystem, including Instagram, Messenger and their audience network, you have to keep in mind that every placement needs a specific format. So for example, for Instagram stories, the best fit is having 9x16. For Instagram feeds, for Facebook feeds, 4x4 or 4x5 works the best. And we have to make sure that each placement has its necessary format. So before I'm showing you how to customize your creatives, which is pretty easy, I'm just gonna be upfront with you, we have to understand why would you want to do this. First of all, let's look from the customer experience. When they are seeing your ad, let's say on stories, and your format is 4x4 or 4x5, in their mind, naturally, subconsciously, we think that is an ad. So what do we do? We skip that ad right away. That's why it's a waste of money. You're leaving too much money on the table when you are using the wrong formats for the wrong placements. Now, once you know the importance of this aspect, let me show you how to customize your creatives. So what do we have to do? You gotta go to business.facebook.com slash ads manager. And once you are in your ad account, make sure you go to the ad level where we're basically creating our creatives and our messages and our offers. So the visual part that people can see on their Instagram stories, feeds, or on their Facebook. So once we are here, we have to go and scroll down until we are at the media section. Now, after uploading the creative, we have here a few options. So as you can see, we can add it by clicking on this small pen icon button, and we can edit this either in bulk or specifically a placement that you want. So what I'm going to do for this video, I'm gonna add it in bulk of the feed placements. If you want to edit specifically one placement, what you just need to do is to click on this drop down button and then select the placement that you want to edit. Anyways, I'm gonna click here which says edit group and the most important thing we have to do here is to edit by format. So we'll click crop and then the best option for feeds is 4x5, we recommend 1x1, one one, but I find that if you have, let's say, creatives in the 9x16 format, then if you select 1x1, one one, sometimes you can cut off some of the most important things. With 4x5 you have much more space so you can fit more things in your creative. And afterwards just simply apply. Make sure that you leave this option turned on so sometimes Facebook will show your original video instead of the option that we are selecting right here. This is going to take up to one minute, afterwards you are ready to go. One thing I would recommend here is actually from on creating more ads that have a format of 9x16. And that is simply because when you are creating let's say 4x4, so the square format, then it's quite difficult to make it 9x16. It's not gonna fit entirely and you know usually the product will not be seen uh, very professional. After cropping your creative then make sure to click save. Besides customizing the creative, you can also customize your copy if you want. So again, what you just need to do is to click on the placement where you want to edit and then hit this small button. Select primary text or headline and then just remove the text that you want or add something new that you believe is going to fit more for that specific placement. After editing your ads, make sure that you track these changes in a spreadsheet or something similar to this. For me, spreadsheets are working the best, but just find something that is going to work for you. And you want to do this because you want to see the effect of every small change that you're making in your ads manager. This is going to show you the difference in your conversions, in your click-through rate, and afterwards you can make a decision based on that. And that is going to tell you what you should be focusing on in the future. 
Sometimes I see that people say that marketing is difficult, it's very, very hard. And don't take me wrong, yes, marketing can be very difficult, especially when you have a ton of data. But I'm telling you, marketing is simply math. Advertising is simply math. You apply one change at a time, in this case, customizing the ads by placement, and then you track the difference, how the results looked like before and after that change. That is simply how marketing works. Now, if you want me to run your advertising campaigns, make sure to click on the link below to schedule your call. You can find it in the description. We're gonna hop on a quick call to figure out and to see if we have a right fit for working with you. There are no obligations. If you see that we can add value to your business, then make sure and go ahead to schedule your call today. And if you're still watching this video, thank you very much for watching it and I will speak to you in my next one.